Hello all and welcome back to the Spruce Gate Modeling. Today we'll be taking a look at how to paint US Paratrooper heavy weapons. Uh, everything in this video was primed with um, this flat olive drab spray primer from Testers. Um, and we're going to be starting with the easiest one to paint, which is the 75mm pack houser. So, uh, this is a really basic model and we're going to start off by, paint, by painting black onto the wheels. So yeah, this is a really simple step. Just try to make sure not to get any onto the um, inner, uh, the hubcaps. Um, and this is just about the, one of the only solid base coat colors that we'll actually be doing after the Olive Drab Prime. So yeah, we're done with that. Just make sure it's nice and neat. Um, now we'll be highlighting the gun. Um, the highlights will be with German camo or German uniform World War II. Um, so uh, this might seem a little light, but um, I found that it actually blends quite well. Um, so just go for some of the raised areas, you know, um, basic highlight stuff. Um, I don't really want to dry brush this right now, um, just as I feel like this, the rounded nature of the gun makes it a lot easier to paint on the highlights. Um, but yeah, don't go too heavy. So now we'll be putting on a entire gun black wash. So yeah, entire gun. Um, this is just to make some of the details pop and, uh, you know, blend the highlights in a little bit, you know. It's, this won't be our final wash. Um, we'll be using strong tone next or, you know, whatever, uh, whatever. Uh, br dark brown wash you've got. This will just be highlighted or, or uh, pin wash directly on some of the uh, some of the details that need standing out. So you know, down the side of the gun and some of the bolts on the uh, some of the bolts on the tail, as well as some of the detailing on the breech and barrel. So yeah, um, this isn't all gun, but. You'd be surprised at how much detail Battlefront can get into such a simple model, so you will get some, it will be almost all gone. So here we are, just about done. Uh, I'm going to take black again, and I am going to uh, make the barrel look pretty dirty. Um, this is just from, you know, back blast of firing shells. Now we dirty this up a little, uh, dab on some, some earth tones with a sponge. I'm using leather brown. And now we're done with the 75. And we're on to the 57 millimeter anti-tank gun. Uh, here, uh, you know, start off with black again, painting the wheels. Um, this will be a very similar, similar paint job to what the 75 millimeter Packhauser got. Thought that I might as well just show it. Um, can't hurt, and it's a very different shape. Uh, I'll now be putting on the highlight of uh, German uniform World War II. Uh, again, raised edges. This has more sharp defined edges than the pack outzer, which might make this a little easier. Um, but again, don't go too heavy. So uh, now we're going to be putting on the same black wash, a uh, whole gun, you know, just make some details pop. Don't go especially heavy in any one area. Um, and make sure you get the whole gun. Make sure all the little recesses, you know, behind the gun shield, um, the breech, make sure everything in there has got um, so there we are done with that wash, but just like before, we have another wash, uh, again, strong tone ink wash, um, pinpointed onto some of the details. This has a lot more defined details as it has some panel lines and, uh, some bolts that look a little bit, um, a little bit more raised than the stuff on the Packhauser. I'd say that overall... This gun is, in some capacities, harder as you need to get into some uh, tighter spots, but on the other hand, it's a little easier when it comes to highlighting and uh, washing. So yeah, uh, we're just about done with this wash. Um, make sure you get this one right. It's really worth getting this wash right. It, it really adds a lot of detail and makes it look a little dirtier. Just got to finish up the wash here. Uh, I'm going to go pretty heavy on this gun as there is quite a bit of detail. Um, and I'm just going to make sure that all of the tails, as well as, you know, 
um, breech and uh, wheels and just gonna really make sure that every last detail on here has some of this wash on it um, like I said earlier um, this is probably one of the more important steps on to bring out detail on this otherwise not very interesting to look at model given the fact that it's literally two colors um three if you include weathering but here we are we're adding on some of the uh you know back blast some of the charring around the barrel so there we are with that um and we're gonna do the same thing with weathering again leather brown with a sponge not too heavy make sure to get it all around on the wheels just to make it a little bit more of a realistic effect and we are on to the jeep this is my favorite one to paint by fall again starting with black we're going to do the machine gun. Uh, we're going to do the spare tire on the back. Um, again, do make sure that this is neater. Um, this is on the neater side when it comes to your base coats. Um, as well as tool heads. Uh, there's a shovel and an axe on the Battlefront Jeep. As well as, of course, the tires. As you can see, there's a whole lot more going on on this model than there is on a lot of the other ones. And make sure there isn't a lot of detail on the inside of the tires. I like to give them a little bit just to, you know, make it look a little bit more realistic. So, you know, here we are with the highlight, uh, just going around the edges. Um, again, this is probably easier to highlight than the pack houser. And there is a bunch more of it to highlight. Uh, don't highlight the seats quite yet. We're gonna be doing something with those later. In fact, right now, um, we're painting U.S. Field Drab onto all canvas parts. This includes those uh, those pouches that you saw earlier, as well as, as you can see that I'm doing right now, the seat. Um, this is one of the big distinguishing factors that um, on the seat that can kind of make your Jeep stand out compared to some other paint jobs on Jeeps as well as other things. Um, but yeah, here you can see... Uh -huh. We're now going to be taking khaki, and we're going to be highlighting some of the external stowage. Um, so this is not the main body of the vehicle, and I'm doing this to distinguish the stowage from the rest of the vehicle. Um, it's I find that it's always good to not really have it be a uniform look, as they are not the same thing. Now we're going to be taking all of brown. This is probably one of the easiest steps. We're just going to be painting the tool handles. Um, there's only two of them. And if you're taking a platoon of four Jeeps, <laughs> then I mean, you've only got eight. Um, and now we're on to the first wash, the black wash. Um, again, make sure it gets the whole vehicle, um, including the machine gun, um, as well as all the stowage. Um, so, yeah, now we're going to be doing a brown wash. This gets the entire vehicle but make sure not to hit any stowage except for the canvas stuff. So now, uh, we're moving on to Gunmetal Gray. We were just using this to quickly dry brush the machine gun, as well as some of the stowage bits. And we're almost done. Just need to weather it. So, you know, same, same deal there. And now you're done with the heavy weapons for your U.S. Parachute Infantry Company. Thank you for watching. I'll be coming out with another Flames of War tutorial soon.